everyone's attention for the last week has been on the Fortnite Island for good reason, because for the first time in years, the OG map finally made its return. Little did we know, Epic Games still had another awesome surprise plan, being one of my favorite collaborations in a very long time. But first, if you don't hit the thumbs up button on this video, in exactly 111 days, whenever you log on to Fortnite, this will happen. No! But if you do with the thumbs up button, in exactly 111 days when you log on to Fortnite, this will be waiting for you. The choice is all yours, so choose carefully. We've wasted too much time, ladies and gentlemen. We got a bunch of awesome stuff to cover in this video, including a brand new collaboration. Let's get into it. Now, real quick, before we reveal the brand new collab, first things first, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to take a look at this back blade. I guarantee almost all of you recognize it, and I also guarantee almost all of you don't have it. This is the Rust Bucket. It's one of the rarest back blings in all of Fortnite. It's only been released one time. That was all the way back in Chapter 1 during Season 3. Now, this back bling has one of the biggest secrets of any cosmetic item in all of Fortnite, and it goes like this. So, it released in the item shop for totally free. It stayed there between the dates of April 12th and April 19th. 19th of 2018. The reason we got it for free is actually pretty interesting. As a few days before it released, the Epic Games servers actually experienced a bunch of unexpected issues, and Epic Games decided to release this back bling for free as a way of apologizing. Now, over the years, on the back of this back bling, we've noticed something very, very mysterious, actually being this little license plate. It appears to show the numbers U2.2977, which none of us thought would ever be important at all, but we were totally wrong because check it out. Inside of the brand new OG pass, there's actually this one back bling known as the Renegade Rust Cat. And on this, you're able to once again see that exact same license plate with the exact same numbers on it. Now, this back bling actually belongs to the new Renegade Link skin. It is obviously a combination of the Lynx and Renegade Raider. Thankfully, we're able to find out what the license plate actually means because, check this out, the original Rust Bucket is actually a part of the Storm Scavenger set, which just so happens to be the exact same set that the original Renegade Raider is a part of, as well as the Rust Lord and a few other characters. Now, I literally never had any idea that that was the truth, and I kind of feel a little better about owning the Rust Bucket, because it's probably the closest I'll ever get to actually owning the Renegade Raider. And don't worry, coming up next, we'll reveal this new collab. First, remember last season where the main villain was Cato Thorn, and we really thought Cato Thorn was going to have a huge impact on the storyline? I mean, obviously, he did, because he had his time machine that was responsible for taking us all the way back to Chapter 1, but Cato Thorn himself was super easily defeated during the Fort Nightmares event, since then has basically totally disappeared from the Fortnite storyline, easily making him one of the most disappointing villains of all time. But Kato Thorn has actually returned and is present on the Chapter 1 island, but not in the way you expect at all, so we're here inside a creative mode. And don't forget, Kato Thorn ended up dying last season at the hands of Shimmer Dusk, that I'm pretty sure was like a pop star or something like that. The high stakes club was a really big fan of, but located on the Chapter 1 Island is a POI many people have forgotten about, known as Haunted Hills. Here, you're able to find a bunch of different tombstones and things. There's one thing that stands out way more than the rest. Actually being this little mausoleum, it appears to be very, very important. So incredibly important that it's actually growing green. More importantly, however, at the top of this, you're able to see a bat. As we all know, vampires are actually able to transform into bats, which has led everyone and their mother to hypothesize that this is where Kato Thorn is actually buried. At. I couldn't figure out if this tombstone was actually there all the way back in the real chapter one. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Do you think this is where Kato Thorn could possibly be buried? That's enough messing around. Let's reveal this huge collaboration. We're here we are dropping into game, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I don't know about you, but I feel like it's only right that I land at the little racetrack because the brand new collaboration will introduce a brand new car, actually being Lightning McQueen from the famous Disney Pixar car movies. Now, this is a collaboration that honestly, none of of us really could have ever seen coming. It goes like this. So we all know that many, many years ago, Epic Games actually went ahead and purchased Rocket League. They paid a bunch of money. Like I'm pretty sure it was a couple hundred million dollars. Since then, Epic Games has integrated a bunch of Rocket League features into Fortnite and have began cross-promoting their game to the absolute extreme. Most notably, anyone and everyone that owns the Fortnite crew pack now receive the Rocket Pass, which is essentially the Rocket League Battle Pass for totally free as well. Recently, Rocket League and announced a super big collaboration. This was once again with Disney Pixar's car movie. They literally released Lightning McQueen as a drivable and playable vehicle, and it looks absolutely awesome. You're able to see the actual
actual trailer for it arriving on your screen right now. Oh, I know, I know. Epic Games owning the company that owns Rocket League isn't really proof at all that Lightning McQueen will be arriving here in Fortnite. But check this out. As we all know, over the last few months, we've received a ton of different leaks about a brand new racing game mode coming into our game. Just as of last week, we found out that this is actually going to be a Rocket League racing mode. That'll be super duper detailed. We're going to be able to use all of the Rocket League cars inside of Fortnite. There's even a ton of different racing maps as well. Like literally almost 20 of them that you can see on your screen right now. Now this essentially confirms that Lightning McQueen will at least be available in some form inside of Fortnite. We'll be able to use and operate during the racing mode. But what I personally would like to see happen, something way, way cooler. You guys remember a couple of years ago, we actually received our very, very first vehicle collaboration between Fortnite and Ferrari. We literally got to drive a Ferrari around the Fortnite island. I would love to see Epic Games add Lightning McQueen as an actual drivable vehicle inside of Battle Royale. Obviously, however, they'd likely need to wait until Chapter 5 to actually release that. Cars themselves weren't actually released until Chapter 2. All the cars we have here on the OG island are just props that you can destroy for metal. There are a couple different versions of the Lightning McQueen car. Obviously, they have the normal one, and then I'm pretty sure I also saw a blue version. I don't know about you, but I really need a, a Mater vehicle. Is that the tow truck's name from Cars? That dude was hilarious. So hopefully, they don't just stop at Lightning McQueen and decide to bring in all the other characters as well. As it stands right now, Lightning McQueen is already released inside of Rocket League and is available for purchase. But in order for him to release inside of Fortnite, we're actually going to need to wait for the racing mode in Chapter 5, which is going to be absolutely awesome. And I don't know about you, but I definitely can't wait. But you know what, lads? We only got 54 more enemies remaining. I say we turn up and get it done. Oh, buddy, a shopping cart. It literally took Fortnite re-releasing Chapter 1. For me to realize how good the shopping carts are, it literally makes it so easy to get around the map, dude. And it doesn't take any gas either. Hashtag bring back shopping carts in chapter five. Who's with me? Ooh, what up, buddy? Here we go, lad. I see your footsteps. Come on. Yes, 39 more enemies to go. Hey, and a blue pump, please and thank you. Ooh, kind of far away. Come on, come on. Oh my goodness. Oh, we got him once. Jump from up here. Come on, buddy. Oh my goodness, bro. Yes. There's definitely still another one in there. I guess we're just gonna have to push him. Wait, is he not even here anymore? Hello? What? He's literally gone. I do see a guy over here, though. Ooh. Oh, not the zip line. Not the zip line. Not the zip line. Yes. My aim was actually good right there. My aim was actually decent. Come on. No, I'm out of ammo. That's like the worst thing that could happen. Ooh, come on, buddy. Come on. Yes! Thanks for playing Anonymous. Literally didn't have any ammo, though, which kind of sucks. At least we only got 25 more enemies. You absolutely scared me, brother. Holy. Could be right here, huh? Wait, what? Where did this guy just go, dude? What the heck? Oh, 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 oh. Yes! I do hear a big fight going down this way. Time to party, boys. There's one. Uh, my best aim right there. Oh, what? Bro, I had no idea this pistol was automatic. That changes everything. Come on. Yes, 13 more to go. Time to go nuts. Thankfully, I have more AR ammo this time. Always helps out. Ooh, ooh, it's still for me, buddy. My aim is terrible. Golly. More, 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 more. Yes. Oh, right here. Ooh, so we got him. Right here, right here, right here. Yes. Oh, they're fighting right over there. I see him. Yep. Oh, dear. Wait, right here. Oh, come on. Yes. One more. Yes! Final enemy. I see him down here. Come on, buddy. It's like the perfect weapon for the situation. Oh, buddy. Come on. Yes! That's what I'm talking about, lads. That is a big victory royale. As soon as Lightning McQueen arrives inside of Fortnite, I'm gonna make sure to let all of you guys know and keep you guys up to date over on my Twitter account, at HomeAgamesYT. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have an absolutely incredible rest of your day. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.